Let's create a spring and modify it as if it's taking an impact from a ball in Maya. First we'll create the spring, create polygon primitives, use a helix. We can drag the helix out on stage. Or if you prefer, after you create the helix, or I will rename it spring, you can set its properties in the attributes. I'm going to set the radius to 2. Also make the subdivision axis 12. Now we need to bend the spring. For bending, under the modeling menu set, we're going to select deform, nonlinear, and bend. We'll need to select the spring first, so let me repeat the process, deform, nonlinear, and bend to actually apply the bend to the spring. Under the attributes for the bend, if you move the curvature, you'll see the spring moving accordingly. Now I don't want the bottom to bend with the top, so I'm going to set the low bound to zero. I also want more of the bottom to move, so I'm going to have to go into the bend handle and move it down a bit. Now I'll test my curvature. That's good. Make sure everything's bending in the right direction. Okay. Now we're ready to keyframe. I'll start at about frame 15. To keyframe, in the attribute editor, click right on the field name. And we'll go ahead and set key. And of course, I want to set it to zero originally. Now we're going to bend it out. Keyframe. And now, of course, bend back. Now we're going to bring it back to rest by setting faster, smaller oscillations. And finally, we'll go back to zero on the curvature and keyframe that. And there you have a nice bend and oscillation. We also need to squash the spring when the ball hits it. We'll use another deform for that, nonlinear squash. Select the spring first, deform, nonlinear, and squash. This time you're going to use the factor to squash it. And we just need a little bit of factor. And I'll find like frame 12, enter factor 0.25, oops, negative 0.25. I'm going to key that there. Go up a few frames. Key the factor back to zero. And a few frames passed. And I'll key the factor back to zero. The result is the spring should squash and then do its flex. Now when it's squashing, it's squashing up. I don't want that to happen. But I can, once again, just lower the bend handle. That gives me a nice effect. 
Last thing to do. Let's create a sphere with a ball. And I'll create it and I'll just put it right in place. When the spring's being squashed, I'll keyframe that. Once that segment is keyframed, I can go to the beginning, keyframe the start, so it hits the spring, and keyframe it away. Scrub that, and we look good. A few more little adjustments for the ball flight path, and you'll notice that the spring starts compressing before the ball gets there. We don't want that, so we'll move the ball right on top of the spring and put it in an intermediate keyframe there. And there you go. 